What up, dude? How's it going? Good. You ready to brew some beer? I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's can do it, bro. Let's get that beer mashing in. Uh, hey Kyle, you gonna wear that hat today? Yeah, why not? Well, last time you did, the whole internet made fun of you. People are like, where's the alcohol? Uh, but that's just how the spear is. Alright, so I guess since we're doing this sunbrew challenge with Martin, we do need to put on our professional brewer's hats. Here's the thing I don't get. What would a real pro brewer wear when they brew at home anyway? A suit and a fucking tie? Uh, well, have you had a chance to see Martin's footage yet? No. I'm wearing sunglasses. I think it looks kind of cool, but also I've got a black eye. Uh, got hit by a MacBook charger. So here's the thing, man. What do we got? This is calling for, uh, well, let's just look at the base model. It's calling for two real American pale. I uh, have a bunch of German pills there. I mean, that's a good base model. Let's just fucking go with that base model. Yeah. Let's, see, let's see what we have in our bag of goodies here. This is like crystal. Crystal something. 40? Yeah, this is crystal, I believe. Empty your sack out like Santa Claus on Boxing Day. Like that? Spam. I don't know anybody in Arizona. I have I don't have a MasterCard. Here's the thing. This is a thick ass tarot reading that these we're doing. Are tea leaves. Yeah. These are dregs. Pedal up. In. Yep. Water in the line. Oh. oh yeah. Look at this. Uh, what do you guys think Martin's doing? Right about now. What's Martin doing? Yeah. Probably checking his pH <laughs> and adjusting his pH. Did we even take a pH rating? <laughs> in like 10 minutes ago to uh, check the kettle we are at boil temp so we should probably go cool. yeah, I mean we could probably go tend to the brew day again 
if we were so inclined. It's not light. Let's go. We're goop. What's our bittering edition? Uh, 1.5 ounces of Magnum. Not gonna dry hop. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like anything that needs to be done, it's just gonna go in the kettle at the end. I'm not trying to like Beater mess with here. it. Well, I'm not trying to mess with it after you put it in the fermenter. This one's an ounce and this one's an ounce, and we need one and a half ounces. So if we put this one in and then half of this one in, that's one and a half. That's one and a half. Math. Dude, that's math. The scissors. I got a blade. Full ounce of hops here. <laughs> Looks like half to me. I like the look of that boil right there. What's our power supply at? We're at 50%. Let it ride. I think we let it ride, dude. Play, play some more hacky sack. Let's go hack. Da na na. One ounce of citra. This is gonna come as a complete shock to most of you. But I realized after I got home that uh, Ross and I forgot two pounds of corn sugar while we were having all that fun. So I'm back at the office, I'm gonna add it now. So my water's reached to boil. This is not what you want to make a mess with. You're not professional. It's all dissolved, so what I'm gonna do now is cover it and place it in the freezer. All right, we're about 70 degrees here. We have 10 minutes left. For our boil? We just start eating? Let's eat a taco. Okay. And let's see where we're at. Get stoked. Love these taquitos. Hmm. It's awkward. timer is has has gone off. I think let's get a bag instead of trying to jam it all the hops in these silos because we have so much. We got a lot of hops to add. It's a lot of hops right there. Look at that. It seems a little excessive. I mean, it it's a lot of hops, but what, that bag, what is, what is that even for, bro? People often comment on this channel and they're like, oh, they're you're not professional, you know, you're doing this wrong, you're yeah, But then there are a lot of folks who are saying that we're like unprofessional. I Is that like know. a parachute for kids to play it with? It actually might be, I have no idea. It's like a jellyfish puppet. You can play SpongeBob with this thing. That's it. I'm not, we're not gonna use these for anything. That's like the other half, oh, the other half ounce from the- Oh, hop. Let's just use it, dude. It's good to the last drop. It's good to the last hop. Good. I'm gonna tuck it out. I need some milk and cookies in the nap. Ross has been asleep for like 20 minutes. Martin, 
Help us. One shortcut we do not take. Sanitation. <laughs> you like that? Technically, based on the directions on the back of the package, we should put three of those in. We're gonna put one. That would like be a severe underpitch in most cases, but this yeast is supposedly does well when underpitched. Okay. Oh my god, you guys had so much more fun than me, like getting outside, having a nap, you know, I don't know if that was staged, but oh, I love the idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like a mid-brew fugue state, it was great. Yeah. I'm ready for a beer. Yeah. Glasses, I have Glasses. beers, I'm ready to go. I'd have a beer. You're not drinking out of Kyle's crazy hat from the video then? My professional hat? Not yet, but get uh, a couple of these in us and maybe we'll start drinking out of hats, shoes, yeah. lampshades, who knows, man. We, we both brewed essentially the same beer. More or less. Same recipe. Same recipe. Martin did it the correct way, and we did it our version of the correct way. Uh-huh. Which involved quite a bit more hacky sack and naps and tacos. Yeah. Than Martin's way, prob presumably. Zero tacos, zero hacky sack, and not even a nap, no. <laughs> Deprived you are, Martin, deprived. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. We did take a final gravity, so ours fermented down to 1010. So my gravity is 1024, so it's ended up quite a bit sweeter, but it was from a higher starting place because I didn't end up topping up with water. So it'd be All interesting right. to see if we get a difference on that. All right. The estimated ABV was 12% on this guy. Good lord. Okay. Mine was 13%, so pretty close. Can I pour you a beer? Yeah, let's pour some beers, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm really worried about this one. Oh boy. Oh. So do you see any difference in the color between the two? Yours might be a little darker, what do you think? Yeah, Yeah, I, I think so too, a little darker. Hold her up to the schnoz cannon. <sighs> oh yeah. I get piney hop aroma. I get like pineapple hop aroma. I mean, it smells like a really good beer. It smells like I'm gonna have a nice time. So I'm getting sweet fruitiness for sure. Out of this one. Yeah, pineapple, pineapple, something like that, something tropical. Martin, did you do like a proper dry hop on yours, or did you do like hop stand whirlpool like we did? No, I did a dry hop as well. I get like a, a pleasant amount of sweet body and like no boozy tang, not even in like the back of my throat. This is- You tasted it? Yeah. This really? is secret agent 13%. It's delicious. I mean, that's amazing. It's so, it's, that's great. Smooth. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it definitely, I mean, it, it is very sweet on the palate, isn't it? Um, and, and the fruity aromas, I think, are coming through in the taste as well. But yeah, I wouldn't really suspect this was as alcoholic as it is. It's probably worth pointing out um, something extra I had to do with this beer that you guys didn't have to do because my, Final Gravity finished up around 10.34, really, really high, and the yeast just kind of stopped at that point. Um, I ended up having to put in a, a second batch of yeast, so I used WLP 099 Super High Gravity Ale, and that brought the gravity down about another 
10 points. There's still a bit of sweetness there, I think, but it did help at least finish the beer off. So I did need to do that, which I think is just because I had a higher starting gravity to begin with. As far as the aroma goes, there's not much to speak of compared to, to Martin's beer. Compare, yeah, compared to Martin's beer, sort of classic, like skunk, but like hop. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like a little danky, yeah. like forest floor. Ours definitely, definitely has... Really dry. It's very dry. Yeah. Our carbonation is higher. I get a way more, mm -hmm. you know, it's sharper. Yeah. Martin's yeah. has a smoother mouthfeel carbonation level. Ours is like, ooh, bubbles, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, and I get a true like bitterness on ours. Mm -hmm. Whereas with Martin, that is, I think it leads with that sweetness and the aroma. I do not get any booze heat on this either. There's no way that you would think this is a super high gravity bit. To me, this is much more of a traditional IPA. Like you say, it's the dankness, a bit of hot bitterness into it as well. Um, but it's so easy drinking. I can't believe how easy drinking a beer of this gravity is. Like, if, if you got two of these beers, would you think that these were the same beer with the same recipe? To me, no. they are so different. Yeah, they're incredibly, yeah, they're, they're night and day different. Yeah. Really. Kind of across the board, all the different attributes, uh, visual, mm -hmm. sort of texture, aroma, and flavor. Yep, absolutely. And, and they are so different but they are both enjoyable in their own way. I really like the dryness and the easy drinking of this one, and I really like the fruitiness of this one. Part of the, I don't know, the hypothesis has not held up, which is you can kind of just wing it and it's gonna, you're not gonna probably notice much of a difference. I think we've kind of busted that myth, if you could call it a myth. They are qualitatively different. Yeah. Martin's doing it his way. It's awesome, dude. We're doing it our way. It's not like there's a right way to do something and a wrong way to do something. There's just lots of different ways to doing things. But sometimes, like we've seen here, they do make a difference, but it's not one was good and one was bad. It's just, it makes different stuff. And these are both fantastic. Both good. Yeah. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, like, brewing is, I mean, it's about having fun. And different people have different ideas of what fun is. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just like, whatever's fun to you. This, that's how you should be brewing beer. So, excellent uh, challenge, Martin, from, from the Homebrew Challenge. Mm -hmm. Thanks for challenging us to this challenge. And it was a challenge worth taking. This has been yeah. a very tasty result. Yeah, absolutely. And um, again, for the folks who are not familiar with Martin's channel, the Homebrew Challenge, Check it out, it's awesome. He's brewing 100 beer styles, right? You're brewing every beer? Every style of beer. I'm brewing 99 of the BJCP guideline beer styles, many, yes. Good God, that's insane. Well, I appreciate it, and thanks so much for doing this challenge with me. Absolutely, thank you, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>